as I'm sure you all can see, in front of me, there is a fish tank. Some of you may think it looks nice. Others may think it's a disaster. I'm a bit in the middle. I also have another fish tank downstairs. Looks like this one, but bigger. I decided, hmm, I want this fish tank to be better. But how can I do that? There are fish inside, and if you didn't know, fish can get pretty stressed. As such, I don't want to be sticking my hand in here and moving shit around because I don't want to stress them out. Now obviously if I'm cutting some plants or I'm removing some algae, that's okay, but literally replacing the entire substrate and moving everything around would definitely stress them out. I don't have a second tank to put them in, unless of course I bring back the other tank. Now, so this is basically, oh there goes the snow. <laughs> this is my summer project. I'm gonna be taking all the fish from this tank into the next tank and I will keep them in there, I'll float them in there for a while so they get used to it after I build that tank, and then I will improve this tank. And there's a few reasons for this. One, I want two fish tanks. <laughs> two, I want this tank to look nicer. Then I can have two tanks. Three, my stocking numbers are fucking terrible. All right, the ideal numbers for fish, you wanna have around six Corydoras, six Neon Tetras, and six Black Neons at the minimum. So, here's my idea. All right, first of all, the Cory Cats and the Black Neons will be put into the new tank along with a snail or something of the sort, all right? I will get an additional two black neons. Again, not the ideal numbers, but better than two for sure. Four is definitely a decent number. And then if the water quality is really good, I can bump it up because over stocking a tank is more about water quality than actual size to, to a certain point, obviously. So then I will get two more Corys, another Julie, and another Pepper. So we'll have two of each type, six in total. Hopefully they all play together and then we have four black neons. That will be one tank, and then after that tank is finished and the fish have been moved into there, I will fix up this tank here, and then I will reintroduce my two neons in addition to an, and then I will add an additional um, four neons, add more maybe one day. I will put the snail back in here. Uh, yeah, I'll put the snail back in here, and then I'll get a new snail for the other tank so they don't breed, or I'll just get a different type. And then I'll get a secondary, or maybe two, Autoclincus, you can see them back there. I'm gonna get two of them, and then yeah, so hopefully this will make my stocking numbers better, hopefully all the fish will be happier, and uh, yeah. So uh, for the next while, I'm gonna be posting updates on my channel, Cryptid Crow, and it'll give you the info. So yeah, that's about it. The only reason I made this video is so that I feel like if I make this video now and post it on my channel, it'll make me more devoted because when I post a video or even just record a video, it makes me feel more like, huh, I should probably get to doing that. So uh, yeah, enjoy me on the adventure my fish take, even though it's probably gonna be a while before the series starts because I still got school to finish. So yeah, say bye Simon.